Hi guys, welcome to our video for today. So in this video, we're going to introduce Power Automate. Okay, so Power Automate, uh, or previously known as Microsoft Flow, is a low-code uh, drag-and-drop tool that allows you to connect several programs. So the idea is that if one action happens in another program, then a second program will execute a certain action in response to that. In a way, automating things between two or more programs. So in this video, we're going to give you an overview of how to create automation tools uh, in this program. So I'm going to first here Google uh, Power Automate, and you should be able to see the website powerautomate.microsoft.com. And then you need to have your login in uh, Microsoft. So I'm going to sign in. And since I'm already logged in before, so I will have the home page right away. So to start with your automation, you have to simply click on create on the left side pane. And from there, you'll be asked to choose, okay, if you want an automated cloud flow, okay, something that will be stored in the cloud. Uh, if you want something that you need to manually trigger yourself, or do you need to something, uh, you need to automate something um, in a scheduled way. So what we're going to do is the automated cloud flow so that your flow is just saved in the cloud here in your account and you could easily access it anywhere and modify it anywhere as well. So I'm going to start and then you have to give your flow a name. So for example, what I want to happen is that I'm going to um, connect my Google Calendar to my, uh, let's say, Google Sheets, such that whenever somebody or whenever I place an event in my calendar, that event will be plotted in a certain uh, worksheets in Google. So to start, I'm going to give it a name. So let's say the name is uh, Calendar Event to Google Sheets. And then we're going to start by searching for the trigger. So the trigger pertains to the program that will initiate the action. So in our case, in my plan, it's going to be Google Calendar. So I'm going to type Google, and you will see that we have here several triggers already given to us. So what event would trigger the action? So here we have several events from different Google platforms. And what I want to happen is that if an event is added to my calendar, then it goes to Google Sheets. So I'm going to select this one and then click Create. And then you will proceed to this portion wherein you have to choose which calendar, okay, if you have several calendars okay, in your Google Calendar assigned. So I'm going to select my calendar. And take note that this drop-down here is based on the Google Calendar um, node. If I choose another event, then I will not be asked for a calendar ID. So let's say I'm going to automate such that if somebody answers a survey in MS Form, then I will have different option here. So it just so happened that I want to um, start with the Google Calendar. So the option that I have here is to first provide the calendar ID. And then once you've um, provided the detail that this certain app needs, you then click on New Step. And then the next part is for you to find what's the uh, other program that will react to that trigger. So like what I mentioned, I want my Google Sheets, okay, to be assigned, okay, with this one. So I will search Google Sheets. Okay, there you go. So Google Sheets is uh, okay to be connected here. But before that, I have to make sure that I already have the Google Sheet that I will connect to this calendar. So going to my Google Sheet, I am actually going to create a blank Google Sheet first. 
and then we will let's say calendar to sheet demo okay and then from here let's say i want to get the event name the start time and the end time okay so i now have a worksheet that i will connect to my google calendar so i'm going back to my flow then i'm going to choose google sheets and from google sheets i'll be able to choose what action i want so in my case i want to insert a row okay if my calendar gets updated so i'll insert row here and as you could see there are even other options available for you so in my case it's this one insert row and then as you could see i'm given options that will allow me to choose a file and which worksheet in that file will i use so again this is contextual to the app that you selected so i'm going to pick a file and it's now asking me like which folder should i find it so there's my worksheet that i just created calendar to sheet demo i'm going to select that and then i'm going to insert okay or select a worksheet so i want sheet one because if you remember i only have one worksheet in my file and as you could see here i'm already presented with several options that i could extract from the calendar so i want the title and i simply have to uh, bring in the event name here so event title for the start time i can click the event start date time and the end time would be obviously the event end time so now i already managed to assign the uh, certain data or information from my event and map them to my google sheet so again these are all contextual so this is subject to change depending on your trigger and depending on the reacting app and from here i could now click save And as you could see here, it says your flow is ready to go. We recommend that you test it. So if you want to do that, you can click test over here on the upper right portion. And then I'm going to test it manually. So I'm going to test. And you could see here, I'm being instructed that to see it work now, add an event okay, to the selected calendar. So I'm going to my calendar here. And then let's say that I'm going to add something on the February 7th of 2023. And I would say this is my test event. A123. I just want to make sure that it's unique, something that uh, is there. So I'll have the event time. I'll stick with this one, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Click save. So now an event has been added in my calendar. So let's see. My Power Automate actually says the flow is running and it says your flow ran successfully. So it's time to check if it indeed updated my Google Sheets. So going to my Google Sheets, you will now see that I have the event name, the start time, and the end time, and a certain code that Power Apps will need okay, in case you will use this in Power Apps. So now, Anytime that I need to, or I want, okay, or every anytime that I will add an event to my calendar, my Google Sheets here will update. So I just want to test it again. So let's say I want, this is my test two, and then add time, okay, and then click save. And let's, I'm going to jump to my Google Sheets. And as you could see, okay, we're still uh, sort of like waiting. Let's go back here. Okay, your flow is ready to go, got it. 
and then okay so now i went back here to my flows just to show you there there's just a bit of a delay okay in the updating but it ran without me doing anything so i just went back to flows and it's already there and that's it so it's up to you what flow you want so you could always start a new flow and then choose your uh, how you're going to save it give it a name and then choose the program so there are many programs here that you can choose from so for example you can choose if a tweet uh, if a twitter if a tweet is added okay okay what if there's a facebook well facebook is not supported what if there's a gmail okay so you can connect applications okay within uh, microsoft power automate as long as they make sense to be connected okay because of course sometimes flows you know it doesn't make sense if you connect twitter versus like google calendar something like that so as long as it makes sense to connect them then that option probably is available in power automate so that's it for today's video i hope you liked it and i hope you try this and i hope you subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.